good morning dear students welcome back to our lesson that is matter around us from chemistry okay this is the first lesson of the chemistry in the last session we have seen the properties of solid okay and in that solid point the main important thing was the intermolecular force of attraction okay when i explain you the diagram that time i said you intermolecular force of attraction is very strong or there is no gap between the particles that intermolecular force of attraction or interparticle force of attraction is also called as what cohesive force okay so that we had talked and that point was very important and that point was only carrying forward and all the time that point was coming frequently while explaining the properties of the solid but today our topic is different the next i said you there are uh, five states of matter out of that one state of matter we had already completed now we will move ahead with the another uh, state of the matter that is uh, liquid and the properties of the liquid or the another state of the matter that is liquid then what are the properties possessed by the liquid i see you students liquid we see everywhere i said you solid things why we have taken first because most of the things are of solid things around us right this is blackboard this benches uh, wherever you are sitting this most of the things are made up of solid so we had studied for solid but today we are going to talk about the liquid so you might be knowing what is meant by liquid see frequently we feel in the water and we frequently drink a drink a water sip by sip that is liquid okay oil can be considered as a liquid honey can be considered as a liquid so liquid you are knowing and since uh, lower grades you are learning about the liquid okay but today here we are going to talk about the important properties of the liquid what are the properties of the liquid see students if you will talk about the structure of the liquid or the interparticular uh, attraction force of attraction between the particles of the liquid if you will talk then this particle of attraction is not much strong like a solid as we have seen ki the solid have a lot of attraction so they are compactly tightly packed with each other they had a lot density right they had a lot rigidity but here if you will talk in about the liquid uh, state of the matter then liquid state also have a attraction it also have a attraction between the particles of the matter but that attraction is not enough right that is not much enough that we cannot possess some important properties like rigidity rigidity or high density is not possessed by the liquid means there is attraction between the particles of the particles of the uh, matter but that is not strong enough like a solid okay so if uh, i will draw a diagram here we will come to know suppose this is the diagram of liquid state then these are the particles of the liquid state and it has a sufficient amount of space in between them see it has a sufficient amount of space in between them you can see the structure here there is a attraction between the particle there is a attraction between the particle and that attraction of the particle is not much strong like the solid state it's not much strong there is attraction but that is not much strong there is a gap between the particles of the liquid suppose this is the liquid water suppose this is the water which is in the liquid state right water can be exist in the three state solid liquid and the gas we are knowing but if you will talk about the water molecule or the sorry if you will talk about the water state of the uh, liquid right then we can see there is a gap in between the particle suppose these are the particles then it contains some gap in between them and that gap means what ki there is less attraction between the particles of the matter right means intermolecular force of attraction is what weak right by this diagram what might be the first property of the liquid state that is intermolecular interparticle force of attraction is weak it's not much strong like a solid 
ओके स्टूडेंट आई थिंक फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज क्लियर फॉर यू इंटर पार्टिकल और इंटर मोलिकुलर फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन इज वीक दैट इज इट कंटेन हैज सम गैप इन बिटवीन देम right it has some gap in between them and so that we can say that interparticle or intermolecular force of attraction is we is not much strong like a solid state okay that is also called as a cohesive force cohesive force is not much strong like a solid over here okay so this point can be the first point i hope you might have drawn this diagram so that i can rub the diagram this is the diagram for the liquid state Uh, last time also I said you ki uh, here are these are the points or these are the properties of the uh, solid. So I at last I said uh, show you the diagram for the solid state. But here I am showing you now itself. Okay. So this is the diagram for the liquid state. Okay. Now the first property if you will talk the this is the second property students intermolecular force of attraction intermolecular or inter particle also we can say inter particle force of attraction is weak as compared to the solid state okay is weak it's not much strong if you talk about the third property then liquid state as a speck do not have a specific shape and size but have a fixed volume do not have definite shape and size i shall explain you do not have specific specific shape and size liquid state do not have specific shape and size but but have specific or fixed or have fixed volume fixed volume what is meant by this it do not have a specific shape if i am talking about this stock piece it has a specific shape if i will keep it outside or i will keep somewhere else the shape of the chalk is not going to be changed change right the solid things do not change their shape or size wherever you keep them right we have seen that but the important property this is the important property of the liquid state that the liquid state do not have specific shape and size they are acquiring the shape of the container in which they are kept suppose if i will take a 1 liter of water and in that if i will put a water in it then the shape of the water will be now like a bottle right the shape of the water will be like a bottle if i will pour that water into the glass now that water will acquire the shape and size of the glass if same water i will pour into the bucket now it will acquire a shape of the bucket means what student solid state do have a specific shape and size right but liquid state do not have specific shape and size it acquires the shape of the container in which it is kept understood student i hope this second point is also clear for you but the half point is what but have a fixed volume means what if suppose your milkman is giving 1 liter of milk for you right if suppose your milkman is giving 1 liter of milk for you into the bottle now we do not keep that milk into the bottle we pour into another utensil which is covered with the lid so when we pour into the another utensil is it going to be that only uh, 1.5 liter or 2 liter no it will be only 1 liter because liquid state have a specific volume right means it has a fixed volume it do not have specific shape and size but it has a fixed volume means when the milkman has given 1 liter for you when you pour into the another container it was not a 2 liter because it has a fixed volume so this is my third point liquid state do 
do not possess the property of the rigidity. Means suppose if you will take a liquid and try to pour my hand in it, my hand can go inside. Because of what? Interpalpical force of attraction or intermolecular force of attraction. Intermolecular force of attraction is not much strong that I cannot put my finger into the water. I can put my finger easily into the water because of the weak intermolecular force of attraction. As my hand I can pour into the water means what? Means what? That uh, it does not show the property of the rigidity. Because rigidity is what? Suppose this is the duster. I will try to put it, my finger into it. Can I move in it? No, it is not possible. Why? Because the intermolecular force of attraction is very, very strong. Right? So that it is not possible for the solid state. But for the liquid state, I can pour. Right? So, rigidity, rigidity, rigidity property not shown by liquid state by liquid state okay now fifth one property we will talk about rigidity diffusion as we have seen the diffusion was possible means movement of the water from high concentration to the low concentration i said you right diffusion okay without intermixing uh, without uh, sorry without um, interfering them the particles two particles of the matter can mix inside that is called as what diffusion and that diffusion property was not shown by the solid state because of what again intermolecular force of attraction because of the strong intermolecular force of attraction the diffusion property was not seen into the solid state but diffusion property means suppose suppose if i will take a water if i will take a water and i will put some drop of the ink in it and if i will not disturb to it for some time then after some time you can see the water will change its color according to the color of the ink it will change its color if i pour a blue ink it will take a blue color if i pour a black ink the water will acquire a black color why it is so because of the diffusion property right so diffusion property is shown it shows diffusion right the liquid state can uh, show diffusion property or diff uh, liquids can possess the property of the diffusion okay liquids can possess the property of diffusion okay of diffusion Rigidity can be shown, diffusion can be shown. Now fluidity. Fluidity means what? The things which can flow is called as what? Fluidity. Solid state do not show fluidity. Right? Because they cannot flow. Because of again strong intermolecular force of attraction. But in the liquid state, if I pour uh, a water from the uh, bottle, Right? If I have poured a bottle into the bottle uh, and if I uh, remove its cap and I shall try to pour it on the ground, then it will pour. Okay? But at the limited area, it will not be everywhere like a gaseous state. So, it will show a moderate fluidity. Okay? Moderate fluidity is shown by the liquid state. Moderate fluidity. Means liquid can flow. So, first was the diagram, second was intermolecular force of attraction, third is what do not have specific shape and size but have a fixed volume, fourth one rigidity property is not shown by the liquid state, 
liquids can possess the property of the diffusion and moderate fluidity is also shown by the liquid state this is the sixth property now we will move ahead with the seventh one property of the liquid state what might be that that is what kinetic energy that is what kinetic energy kinetic energy of the particle of liquid is moderate this is also medium not much kinetic energy was not shown by the solid state because of again intermolecular force of attraction but as the liquid state has some gap there is these are not strongly bonded there is a weak attraction in between the particles of the uh, liquid state so there is a gap and so that the particles can move here and there just remember i said you the properties of the particles of matter this is the important property of the particle that particles are moving continuously and if there is a no gap in between the particle means they are very free to move everywhere right but not like a gaseous state means kinetic energy of the particle is not much strong they are not moving from here because there is some attraction in between them it's not like that they do not have at all attraction in between them they have some attraction in between them and because of that what happens because of that what happens they are showing the property of the means they the kinetic energy of the particles will be there okay so kinetic energy of the particle of the liquid state is moderate not much strong not much like a gaseous state and not very least like a, a solid state so it's a moderate okay if i will talk about the eighth one property then the density is also moderate the density i said you here density density means what i said you mass per unit volume so as there is a gap in between the particles means what they are less dense right see i have said you okay, suppose this is the solid state then solid state what happens the particles are tightly packed with each other right there is no gap in between them intermolecular force of attraction is very strong but if we talk about the liquid state then there is a gap in between the particle as there is a gap in between the particle means these are less denser than the solid state right these are less denser than the solid state and more denser than the gaseous state so that it is said that density will be also moderate density will be also what moderate means moderate density moderate density okay so this is the eighth uh, one property of the liquid state i hope it is clear for you liquid state means what inter particle or intermolecular force of attraction is weak not strong like a solid state or cohesive force also we can say for it so it is also weak do not show rigidity right density fluidity is moderate right and rigidity diffusion is also moderate but diffusion is also shown by the liquid state it is not shown into the solid state that we have talk about and examples of the liquid what are the examples what can be the examples of the liquid water water can be there oil can be there petrol can be there right honey can be there honey honey is more denser than the water right so honey also can be the example of it so here i have completed today in today's session the properties of what liquid in tomorrow's session i will explain you about the properties of the gaseous state thank you so much